microphone first. I want to see if my microphone's loud enough. Which, no, it's not. I'm glad I decided to do that. <laughs> Alright. 2022 expansion time. <laughs> this thing would not update, let me tell you. <laughs> it was like... I mean, it actually updated a lot quicker than I thought it would. But no, at the beginning, <laughs> it was taking so long to update. But yeah. Start racing 2022. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the drivers and their paint schemes. Obviously, everybody's gonna have two paint schemes, but yeah. We're gonna start off with Ross Chastain. My guy, Ross Chastain. Yeah, I got the Moose car. And then Austin Sindrick. <clears throat> Austin Dillon. Kevin Harvick. Oh, Harvick's got three schemes. And these are like my three favorite Harvick schemes of the year. Jeez. Alright. Larson's got two. I think he only like ran two, two this year. So, Brad Keselowski, Color Generators, and Violet Defense. I'm gonna have to be quick with this because I have to go in like. Well, actually, no, I have to go at seven o'clock. I'm gonna end the stream at seven o'clock. I'm not really gonna be like looking around too much through the cars. <laughs> I actually don't really remember Almirola running a different scheme. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Danny Hamlin's pretty much only two schemes of the year. A lot of drivers actually only ran like two schemes this year, so there we go. There's my guy Chase Briscoe with the the uh, actual only two schemes he ran this year, except you know at Talladega, whatever. All right, we got Garrett Smithley, David Reagan, two fifteen cars, three fifteen cars, three sixteen cars too. I'm gonna change these. I don't remember this scheme, but all right. Almondinger, yeah, the Action Industries, Hemrick. Okay, now I got Busher. Yes, I was hoping they'd have this car. <laughs> the the flip car, as some people remember it as. Obviously, you got the two uh, basic Kyle Busch schemes, M&Ms and Interstate Batteries. Actually, the last uh, M&M scheme we'll see in a NASCAR game ever. So, yeah. Truex has got auto owners and you know, primary. Christopher Bell, two basic schemes. <laughs> Everybody's just got two basic schemes. I'm glad they didn't put the Joey Logano uh, I was thinking like the way they are they put the Joey Logano auto trader scheme in which in case you didn't know is literally just this car But it says auto trader on the side The first track I'm gonna try out is probably gonna be new Atlanta by the way, so that or auto club one of the A's I Didn't think they'd actually put like some of these guys in here Like Boris has <sighs> But yeah these are, uh, they have the Air Force car in here. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to gradually like this game even more. I think they have the Irish Spring car, yes. Stanos got the Irish Spring car. They got the Kurt Busch, Michael Jordan uh, winning scheme and the, uh, the Pocono scheme. <laughs> what the hell? Is there any, okay, I... The hood, the hood decal is in the right place on one of these cars and the wrong place on the other. But alright, Alex Bowman, they got the best friends car in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start getting to racing soon, because I'm literally gonna run out of time. Is it just me, or I don't remember that scheme, but alright. Okay, we got Noah Grat, we got the rest of these back of the pack guys back here. I'm just, uh, waiting for you. Can you not have a, a custom car in this? Okay, yeah, those are the schemes, but can you not have a custom car with the next gen? Or oh, sorry, Gen 7. I like to not call it next gen anymore because it's current gen, not really next gen. Well, yeah, be racing as my uh, my guy Joey Logano. We're gonna go to New Atlanta, or Atlanta, if you want to. Uh, yeah, if you want to be kind of annoying like that. All right, let's go. No, I don't want to do practice. I don't want to do practice or qualifying. I just want to do race. You know what? Fine. Random position's fine. Because I want to see how these cars drive. Then again, that's coming from the guy who's got steering assistant medium right now. So, actually, no. I don't know. I don't know if I actually... I don't think I actually changed the steering assist. I was playing this game a few days ago. And I think I might have just quit instead. But yeah. All right.
great. Welcome to the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. I'm Alex Hayden here at Atlanta Motors. Let's see what the track looks like. Looks the exact same as it did previously in the game because it basically was. There's different buttons here. What the hell? I'm gonna check my stuff because I don't know. Yeah, the steering assist is medium. I want to put the steering assist off, and I hope uh, I hope that's not a mistake. <clears throat> yeah, the skip button is the options button now, I think, or something. Oh, here we go. I really, I kind of really like the way these cars look right now, to be honest with you. Here we go, boogity, boogity, boogity. I like how random position always starts you in the back. Wait, AIs are pushing, and I already wrecked myself. That's just great. No, I I think I just got a push from my teammate Ryan Blaney. I'm gonna turn the steering assist on now. Not cause like I feel like I'm really gonna need it or anything, but just because I don't wanna like get wrecked if I do that by mistake. Cause I'm probably gonna do that a lot. Number one, I haven't played like these are new cars. Number two, I haven't played this game in like a month. I wish I didn't change the skip button, cause I I'm gonna keep I keep on pressing like. X. But yeah, Ryan Blaney, I'm pretty sure just gave me a push. There's Bubba Wallace on my inside. Blaney, we're gonna need to kind of work together now. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm just now saying here we go, but yeah. The AIs are lagging a little bit right now. If you want to be super specific and uh, pissed off about every little detail in the game, then the lines, I just caused a wreck. But no, the uh, lines aren't supposed to. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try to complain about that right now. I I realize I can just do this, but yeah. Uh, already this game feels a lot better than it used to. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that. Maybe not. Maybe we got a few more issues to work out. <laughs> but no, this game already feels a lot better than it used to. Mmm, the pushing before I almost wrecked Austin Dillon felt better. The, uh, the checkups are, uh, there, but, you know. Hey, Ross Chastain, let's work together, Ross Chastain. Yeah. And Christopher Bell, this reminds me of the finish of this I don't know what the heck I was doing. Uh, the, uh, maybe it's not as much better as I thought it was, but... I don't know, it looks better. Uh, I like the net, the way the new cars... Not new cars anymore, really. What the fu- Oh, that's a wreck, isn't it? Or no, did they just almost wreck? <laughs> Either way, everybody just stopped for no reason. So, I got damage. I forgot I have damage on. And now the whole pack is separated. Uh, everybody stopped. I'm gonna have to do a different race. I'm gonna go to Auto Club now. I'm in the lead. I'm about to win my first next gen race. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this race just so I can say I won my first race in the gen set. Actually, no, I don't want to do three more laps of nothing. I'm just gonna go to Auto Club now. <clears throat> and we're gonna hope. Okay, we're gonna hope that, uh,. That there's not as many checkups there. So, yeah. Wise Power 400. I'm gonna try to go to all the new tracks. I mean, I only have like. I only have like 30 minutes left for the stream. And if I wanna do a full race at every track, we can take 15 minutes each. Cause I'm gonna have to restart a bunch of times. You know what? No, res no restarts. No restarts. I uh, was relieved when I wrecked William Byron that there wasn't a caution because I had the race too short to be cautioned, you know, cautioned. But yeah, is anybody watching this? One person is. Yeah, sorry about the... If this were like in the late afternoon, okay, I'd be this is definitely be a lot more of a fun stream. But no. 
Oh yeah. I always wanted to see Auto Club in this game to be honest with you. Yeah, just keep the Does that have a number one on it? Okay no, I thought it there was I thought there was a number on the dashboard for some reason. Wait, isn't there like a mirror now? Hey, random start position was good. No, there's no mirror still. Boogity 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 here we go, green flag. I'm already kind of liking this more than I did Atlanta. Just because I like Auto Club, though. I'm a simp for Auto Club. Oh, God. This car does not want to turn. You know what? It's fine as long as we don't die. Should I try running from the high side or something? I mean, I think I might have no choice here. Actually, no. I forgot you kind of have to let off in the new car. The current car. With the Gen 6, you know, with 515, you can do full throttle all the way around this place, rock it around. But no, with this car, you actually gotta, gotta let off. So I might have a fun battle with my teammate Harrison Burton, because I don't know how to... I don't know how to let off the gas. Well, I, as soon as I said that. Oh, tight! Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, this... The intermediate racing is gonna be fun, I can tell you that. I'm gonna try the high side a little bit. Meanwhile, I put myself in. The okay, no, I'm not gonna try the high side. Cause good old Harry Burton. Okay, maybe I need to. Maybe I need to turn the difficulty up now. Cause that was fun for like a lap. And now I'm just gonna pull away. It was a lot more fun starting at the back. Last time, I, I really need to just understand that I can just do that. And I put myself in the wall. Okay, so maybe the maybe we'll have a little bit a little bit of battles to have now. They still need to fix the ratings though, because Landing Castle or sorry, Josh Balicki is right behind me, which is even worse. Landing Castle finishing the top ten in uh, Daytona or something, I think. But where's Josh Balicki's top tens, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna wreck myself on purpose. I don't know if the damage is better. Or final lap! <laughs> Jeez! Okay, well that's good. That means I get to go to a different track without anybody saying anything. I'm, I'm gonna have to turn the difficulty up. There's no way I could do the difficulty like this. I don't know if the difficulty just went down. Yeah! Custom, there's different settings for 20... <sighs> No! I meant to go to settings. So you can have a custom car, that's good. It's a relief for us all. Change options. I'm definitely gonna have to do something about this. That's not champion. There's no. Did they make the difficulty lower? They better have, because I'm. I'm not gonna try to get my ass kicked a bunch of times, but at the same time, I'm also not gonna try to, like. You know, blow everybody away. What track do I go to next? Not Bristol Dirt. I'm never doing that again. Should I go see if some other tracks are fixed before I check out? Are there any more new tracks? I know they have Worldwide Technology Gateway. Just call it Worldwide Technology or Gateway. You don't have to call it Worldwide. Te hey, actually, Joey Logano won this race, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this track. I'm probably gonna stink because I don't know how to hit the brakes. Because as you probably just witnessed. I was having trouble turning my car at Auto Club because I didn't know how to let off the gas because I'm a 550 type guy. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not a big fan of short tracks in NASCAR games, and so I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I'm not really sure I'm going to like this 100%. I definitely enjoy, like, Daytona more. Or Talladega. You know, just throwing it out there. Also, I noticed the paint schemes don't run on track anymore. Like the actual, like, paint schemes they're in. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with paint schemes all the time. Like, after this, I didn't know the track was shaped like that. No, but after this, I'm just gonna go... I forgot the skip button's different. But No, I'm just gonna go to, like, a existing track. Mm. 
The options button should not be the skip button. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do that a bunch of more times. Oh, I'm starting up at the front now? This is good greasy stuff. Obviously, I'm probably going to wreck myself. Entering turn one. Yep. I do not know how to hit the brakes. Fortunately, I got to run off the corner, kind of, because I, uh, I was so slow through the rest of the corner. I'm on extreme difficulty now for the first- Oh, Chase Ellie just got loose. I'm looking behind me, and meanwhile there's a wreck going on. Yeah, but well, this is extreme difficulty. Stanley House got the wall. Okay, I finally hit the brakes. Kinda. <laughs> yeah, the game actually does feel a lot better right now. Meanwhile, I just- I'm causing crashes all willy-nilly. But no, like seriously. This game is- this is kind of fun. I should probably make my car loose, but, you know. And I'm gonna full throttle into a wall, and I'm gonna go to a different track. I'm sorry, I just suck at short tracks in general, because even if we were still using the Gen 6, I would probably be doing the same thing, if not worse. So just thank this car now for sliding around more. I'm gonna go do a super speedway. I'm gonna go do the Daytona night race or something because I I'm telling you I cannot I Cannot do it with short tracks Go to Daytona. I'm gonna see how competitive the pack racing is and then I'm gonna go to Auto Club again or something Or just Kansas. Yeah, Kansas has had the best race this year. I'm gonna go to Kansas or Michigan as Ross Chastain and I'm gonna go blow everybody away I mean my car did spin itself out a lot when I was using 550 at intermediates especially Michigan so uh if the most stable car in the garage 550 a 550 horsepower car is gonna spin itself out I can only imagine how bad it's gonna be with this car you know where you actually have to drive Remember guys, we have the power to be drug free. Just putting that out there. And don't ask why I uh, had to put that out there, but I kind of want to do, do a career mode with it. Obviously, I'm going to start at the back again. Every super speedway race. I can already tell it's going to be like this. You and me are going to have an interesting relationship 2022 update, let me tell you. The game's easier, I guess, which is a good thing, I guess, once again. That or, you know, I just, uh, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just better at keeping up with the pack, or with the Gen 7, you know, maybe, maybe I just like this car more. Never mind, no I don't. Uh, well actually, yeah, yeah, the game being easier for me. I'm trying to get a run, Chris, please. No, that... Okay, so they are all just checking up. I thought the difficulty might add something to do with it. It's not as as bad as it was at Atlanta, but... <sighs> right now, the intermediate track racing is looking the best. For half a lap. And I haven't really, uh, done too much on it yet. I only did that auto club race where I uh, didn't know how to let off the gas. There's only three laps. I forgot that I had the race length that short I'm gonna try to push somebody cuz there we go checking up again yada 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 Austin I'm trying to push the crap out of you I'm not trying to wreck the crap out of you and didn't you win this race anyway the pushing is smoother yay I'm gonna go to your inside. I'm not wasting my time on you, Rhymestone. Remember the single file? Uh, if I could start at the front for one of these races, I know I like have the option to just start on pole anytime I want, and I'm over here complaining, but definitely a little bit more of a checkup than the game used to be. But yeah, 
Next up, Circuit of the Americas as AJ Allmendinger. This is the first race I'm actually gonna finish in this game, though. Not in the game, but you know. I guess this is a NASCAR 22, though. Oh. So. Huh. I think I've made the first live stream with with this uh, with this update. That's nice. It sucks that they didn't do this in the late afternoon or something where I'd actually be energetic. Because, you know, I kind of have to go to school in a little bit. Wow, I finished the race. Nice. I want to see if I can do burnouts next. The music's different. The game's frozen. I did pretty well for my first race. Finished, at least. And you actually still can race, uh... If you race in 2021, can you still have, like, Auto Club? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can still do Auto Club. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Just a little experiment. I know that was stupid. That was probably one of the stupidest things I've done in my life. But I'm gonna go test the road course racing now. It has the, uh... I kinda... I kind of feel like I want to be a disgrace driving as AJ Allmendinger, but I'm going to try my best, okay? Visual damage, okay, so I don't have actual damage on, that's good to know. At the same time, it's not good to know that I have damage on, because, well, I already knew that, but going into a, a braking zone... Going into a heavy braking zone with me not knowing how to hit the damn brakes. You know, I, I feel like that might just be a little bit of a not-so-subway winning combination. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm gonna see if anybody else has a video up about NASCAR 21. 2022 expansion. Okay, dang it, somebody actually did an hour ago. If my game would have updated quicker... I'm the second person to do this, I think, though. And then again, this computer likes to block... Since it's my school computer, it likes to block things. So. At least we got rid of the thing that says there's no previous win. Even though I don't know why it... But yet! Okay, the game is actually accurate. Besides the fact that, you know, uh, this guy over here... Austin Dillon is up front. This game's accurate. Driving is AJ Allmendinger and starting up front here. Well, I like this game more already. The car actually feels nice. The car actually feels really good right now. Maybe it's just me. Or maybe it's the fact that this game was made for road courses. And now it's got a road course car to go with it. But I am loving this. I want more of it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And... <laughs> Uh, I'm not getting any corner cutting penalties, and it's a one lap race. I'm about to legitimately win a race in NASCAR 21. And, uh, one of the big talking points, once again, the brakes being bigger. I know I was kind of cutting corners there, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, the bigger brakes are helping me out. Not there. When we go into a heavy braking zone, they're not going to help me out, because I'm going to hit the brakes too early. Believe it or not, that's actually a thing now. You're, I'm gonna actually be hitting the brakes too early. <laughs> I'm gonna go in cockpit view. Still no mirror. I don't. There, there's gotta be like something wrong, something like with the code of the game where they legitimately just can't add a mirror or something in these cars. Because at this point, like I feel like I feel like there actually is now. Because at this point, it's just kind of ridiculous. Okay, they fixed something else. There's no smoke coming out of my car when I'm uh, going two miles per hour. So that's good. I don't know if I'm the only one. Well, I'm obviously not, but... I've definitely familiarized myself with this racetrack now. Like, I know all the corners. Not all the braking zones, but I know all the, you know, corners. Which is pretty good. And for AJ Allmendinger, right about here is where it all happened. I hate this corner. I really hate this corner. I wish this corner would die. I wish this corner would just become a, uh... A soft corner. Also, there's a chat message that I didn't read. I probably should put the chat on screen now. Next stream. But yeah, there we go. 
I've got about 10 minutes left for the stream. So, yeah. I won! I won! I'm gonna find out a way to get disqualified, but I won! I can't believe it. And that was actually a kind of intense race, too. We'll see if they have anything new for Victory Land. I remember I made this car. This AJ Allmendinger car in this game earlier. I probably deleted it, but... <clears throat> it's looking a little different. I can't tell if AJ Allmendinger looks right or not. I hope she doesn't look that bad, but... Alright. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a Talladega race. I was actually gonna do that earlier. I think you can do this in career mode too. So, yeah. This game definitely... I know I've said it a hundred times, but this game definitely feels pretty, uh... Pretty much better than it did before. I'm gonna drive as Denny Hamlin. Because I pick Denny Hamlin every single time we go to a super speedway. Now the only problem with the game. You still can't, like, rapid scroll to the tracks. The fastest you can do is this. Don't ask why that is a concern for me. I'm gonna do a... I'm gonna do the fall race. Yeah, whenever I'm talking about something, like, with paint schemes not being there, or something like that, just, uh, just please don't ask. Okay, because I'm gonna be talking about stuff like that. I'm a paint scheme freak, okay? Ever since, like, 2019 or whatever, I've been, like, crazy about having the right paint schemes in the right race. To this day, I'll be playing NASCAR Heat 3 at the Roval, and I'll be like, whoa, 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 okay, you see Martin Truex's car right there? Martin Truex's car doesn't have the teeny-weeny little ding on it that nobody else noticed on the back of the car because they hit some, they hit the garage door in inspection, you know? <laughs> like, I'm gonna be something crazy like that every single time I play a NASCAR game, okay? So if I start complaining about there's not an auto trader car at Talladega, just don't ask. Don't get too pissed off. Yeah, 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 yeah. 2021 winner, Bubba Wallace. I'm starting up front. The ratings for this game have improved. I was literally just talking about how I need to fix them. Because, uh, Josh Balicki was up front. Oh, yeah. I think they're going to check up a lot more right now. Oh, my God. The Kurt Busch car. The Kurt Busch car is, is kind of going to make me, uh, make me act up a little, if you know what I'm saying. It's going to make me get a little too hyped. Okay, me and Eric Hammerola working together. I'm going to work together with Ross Chastain. Uh, Denny Hamlin and William Byron are working together in the real race, and now Denny Hamlin and Ross Chastain are working together in the video game race. Meanwhile, Ross Chastain just kind of screwed me out here. I'm going to see if I can... This pushing is better now. Yes, because I can push Kurt Busch to the lead. I'm gonna try to stay locked with them for as long as I can. And by that, I mean I'm just gonna do this until I end up wrecking him. Yeah, but we're actually... Something you couldn't do with the old game. We're actually locked up in tandem, look. Oh my god. And is it actually working? No, it's not. So the tandem works, but at the same time it doesn't work. You don't, like, pull away. And here comes Ricky Stenhouse. My, uh... My uh, mascot. Mm, that was almost bad. But yeah, it's definitely a. Uh, it's definitely got something to do with the way the new car races, but the game feels kind of better. Also, I think the tandem did work because all three of us are up here now. But I was just—it was just like the NASCAR heat, NASCAR heat sort of tandem where like you pull the third car along. I can't leave my teammate out for dead. Uh, well, yeah, I can, apparently, going three wide on him. It's kind of ironic that this, I feel like this, the AIs are more aggressive now, as you can see. No, but it's kind of ironic. I feel like the side draft actually works, like, better in this game now. And, you know, we all know the car doesn't really have side draft. Oh, yeah. The only time I used the Denny Hamlin car with the 2021 version of the game was at Talladega. It's kind of funny. Something else good about the game? Uh, do you notice something here? You notice anything different? About Talladega? That's right. The pack is together still. And it's been a whole... 
a whole two and a half laps. Also, I have to go in like uh, eight minutes or something. So uh, hopefully I'm able to win this race because it'll probably be my last race here. But yeah, after the amount of checkups at Daytona and Atlanta, I'm actually glad to see this. Now, some actual gen genuinely good racing. I'm going to try to race in cockpit view without a mirror. I kind of want to have a battle now, though. Somebody get close. Stenhouse, pull up. Pull to my outside. There we go. Good. I might have just screwed myself, actually. Amarola, push me. As hard as you can. Which isn't very hard. What the heck? Did he just give up? Ricky, you, you've won here before, haven't you? I thought you were- I thought you knew you were supposed to be full throttle. Okay, good news. The only two races I've completed in this game- Well, no, I've completed three races. I won two of them, and I finished 12th in the other one. Another thing that's a little bit ironic. At Daytona, I finished- was the one I finished 12th. Circuit of the Americas, I won the race. But at Daytona, that's when I decided to finish in the back. But yeah, pack stays together now. That's good. I think the music's a teeny bit different. It's more upbeat. What the hell is that? Okay, they added some new, uh, some new human models. Okay, last last track I'm gonna try is gonna be Kansas because Kansas is a good track. I'm going to race with Ross Chastain, because uh, I like Ross Chastain. I'm probably the only person now, but then again, I'm like the only Ricky Stenhouse fan. So, you know, I'm like the only person who likes a handful of drivers. <sighs> Advent Health, because that's the sponsor race. Hopefully I start up front, because these, uh, these races are a lot better. Then again, it'll actually help figure out how the game's going to be <laughs> if... Uh, if I start at the back, so... I feel like starting at the middle of the pack is gonna be good. Like, starting at the middle of... Like, the dead center of the pack. That's gonna be a good... Give you, give us a good representation. Because this is the first real intermediate track I'm trying. Because Auto Club... Auto Club, I was on, like, an easy difficulty. By accident. By the way, this is extreme difficulty. I usually race on Champion. But, uh... Actually, I think I know what it is now. You can't pass with 550. We all know that. And that's probably why. That's probably why I was I was like only good when we were in Okay, yeah, it looks like a it looks like the game took my advice. I feel like I'm in the middle of the pack right now. Right behind Joey Logano. My buddy. We yeah, have 20 uh 23rd place. That's like as dead center as you can get. What's that? Is that a dude wipe behind me? That's on me. I forgot to. I forgot that you have to let off. It was a dude wipe behind me. Oh my god. I I need to take driving classes or something. Cause I genuinely like I know I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to let off the goddamn gas. I think my car is uh, on a tight setting as well. Cause there's no excuse for being this bad. Okay, they guys checked up a little. That. Made it up a little bit of the stupidity. I wonder if I should run the top side. That's where everybody else is running, so I should probably get up there. I really need to make my car loose. I really, really need to make my car loose. Oh my god. I'm not just gonna wreck on purpose for a second. Where's the damage? There's damage on the back of the car, but not on the front. This reminds me of the Daytona test I did with the with this car. Because, like, I smacked into the wall with the front of the car, and the back of the car got all crumpled up. I know I actually hit the back of the car that time. But I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna try turning the steering assist off. I had it on for super speedways because I wrecked myself in Atlanta before we even started. So, uh, hopefully this will go a little better than last attempt. It's already going better than last attempt because the game's giving me a free spots. A free spots, yes. No, the game just gave me free spots on the start, though. Now that I can get hooked into the wall easily, I really need to... Saved it. I'm clear by a long shot. Maybe I should try driving next time. I I tried to dive bomb it. Like, that was on me again, not on the game. I tried to dive bomb it into turn one. And now we're, uh... There's the... Jeez! Next-gen cars don't crumple up like that. Yeah, I got disqualified for wrecking. I'm definitely, uh... I definitely should have just changed the setup. I don't know what I was doing. I feel like if I start further up, it's not like it's bad as with the 550 package, but still I probably need to start far, like at least up at the front. Maybe I'm going to do one more race. Phoenix. I'm just asking for a failure there. Because I'm never good at Phoenix anyway, but I might at least see if the AI has cut the dog leg, okay? Well, I just saw a video on my recommended that kind of makes my day. Ty Gibbs officially to the 18, reportedly, at least. <laughs> it's not officially official, it's only reportedly official. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you guys a story? I, uh, I stole a school computer. And now I got an actual school computer, so I left the stolen one in the middle of one of my classes. And yesterday the teacher asked who left it, and I didn't say anything. Also, I got one more minute. Game, hurry up. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to get off the stupid steering assist, too. What's you guys' most nostalgic race from 2021? For me, it's the Geico 500 and the Phoenix race. The reason I brought that up was because, you know, we're at Phoenix. When I was thinking about everybody cutting the dog leg, I was like, you know what, that's nostalgic. I know this is 2022, but this is a 2021 game. Okay, I've got officially like five seconds left. I need to start. There's my only problem with this game, which isn't, it doesn't have anything to do with the update whatsoever. But just a complaint about the game, just in general. It takes too long to start a race. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but, like, you'll be trying to start a um, Briscoe, almost wrecked himself. But, no, you'll be trying to start a race, and you gotta, like, if you, like, wreck or something, you gotta restart the race, and it's gonna take fi 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna cut the dog leg. Entering turn one. And then, uh, and then we're just, I'm gonna quit, because I'm, like, a 30 seconds past due. But, yeah, the game feels better now. What else can I say? It's still NASCAR 21, but it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. Plus, the damage model actually looks pretty good now. So, I'll see you guys uh, in the afternoon.